Well, thank you for joining us tonight for our virtual Zoom hair restoration um, event. So glad you guys could make it here. Um, one thing I do want to let you know right off the top is we will send a link to this recording to everybody who registered. So as you're listening tonight, if you hear some information that you want to follow up on, or if you want to go back and look at the before and after photos again, um, I will send that link probably about eight o'clock. You should all have it tonight. Um, so we are going to get started here. Stephanie's going to um, start it off for us. At the, once we're done with the presentation, we are going to come back for the question and answer session. If you have some questions during the presentation, at the bottom of your screen, there's a chat and a Q&A. Please don't hesitate to use those. Ask anything you want. I'll be in the back answering as many as I can, um, but we will come up here and we'll answer live. If you don't answer your question live and I didn't get to it during, don't worry, we will email you an answer um, probably within 24 hours or so, but we will get everyone's questions answered. Um, I also stay tuned for the raffle information. We have a great raffle tonight for this, as well as the event package pricing. You're gonna to wanna to hear that one. So I will get the um, screen share going for the PowerPoint. That usually takes me a minute <laughs> and Stephanie will get us started. Oh, there we go. Well, let's <laughs> thank you. See, here we go. I'll restart it right now. Let's see here. The screen share is always what gets me. What we'll do over the next couple minutes, Stephanie and I will go through some of the non surgical and surgical offerings we have here at CAPS in our Upper Arlington and our Eastern location. Um, so the first, you know, several minutes, 10, 15, whatever, um, we'll be going a lot of our hair maintenance programs, and then I'll flip into more of the surgical end of things. So um, I think the most exciting thing is you can get your female consultations at Easton or Upper Arlington. Um, currently at this time for the male surgery consultations, we're doing those just in Upper Arlington because we do the surgeries here. So we'll go over um, all of that. Um, there on the screen, there's myself, Jennifer Heck. Uh, this is Stephanie, of course. And then Olivia is not here with us tonight, but she helps run our hair program at Easton. And she's been with us many years. So um, without further ado, Stephanie, we'll get going to your part. Thank you, Jen. So I'm Stephanie, uh, I'm a nurse practitioner. I'm one of the hair care providers. And like Jen had mentioned, Olivia is at our Easton location. So all the non-surgical uh, treatments that we offer here, she can definitely offer those at the Easton location. Uh, and then I'm at the Upper Arlington location so we can make it best accommodate wherever you live. Uh, so we can make this a really easy uh, process for you. Jen does deal with all of our surgical options. So she is a great resource for that. So I first want to touch on our hair growth cycle. So we all go through that same hair growth cycle. Um, first, I want you to look at the A for active. So that's our antigen phase. We're in this phase two to seven years. Uh, so you can see that healthy strand is connected to that dermal papilla. So that's like the bulb where we're getting all our nutrients and oxygen and blood flow to help that hair grow into that nice, beautiful, thick, health strand, healthy strand. So then we go to our catagen phase, and that's a transition phase. So you can see that dermal papilla disconnects, uh, so that bulb's kind of disconnecting. So then we can shed out that, uh, the bad hair, basically, and grow new hair. So that telogen phase, we're in this phase for about three to five months. Um, it's normal for us to lose 150 to 250 hairs per day. Some patients come to us stuck in a telogen phase. So this could be, you know, postpartum uh, is very common. Um, and another one recently that we've really uh, got a lot of patients coming to us is post-COVID. So they'll be like, hey, you know, I had COVID three months ago, six months ago, and I'm noticing a lot, a lot of shedding or thinning. So, um, you know, there's lots and lots of reasons. So the shedding phase is normal, but sometimes we do get stuck in that telogen phase. Then we get you back into that antigen phase. So we're gonna grow back that hair. So there's not usually uh, one main cause of hair loss. Usually it's a multi-dimensional thing. So um, definitely we're gonna, in your consult, we're gonna look at your medical history. We're gonna look at your diagnoses if you're on any medications. We wanna know about your family as you know, maybe your mom or dad's very thin. So we're gonna take all of that into account too. Aging definitely plays a big factor, hormone imbalances, um, you know, just a, like maybe a very stressful job, lots and lots of things. Um, 
I do want to point out the different types of hair loss for men versus women. So the men you can see in the middle of the screen, normally the men will see kind of like the temple start to uh, thin out, then kind of that vertex or the crown, and then kind of spreads. Um, general touch base, but basically the men do not lose that back of that hair, um, that baseline. So, you know, they're eligible for different treatments. Um, usually that is genetically predisposed. And that it also has a lot to do with like DHT receptors as well. And I'll touch base on that. Um, the females, we do notice our parts start to get wider. Our temples start to get a little thinner. And we kind of notice a generalized thinning throughout. Um, a lot of patients of mine will be like, hey, stuff, you know, my ponytail is half as thick as it used to be. So that's kind of like a, a generalized comment that I get a lot in the consults. Um, or maybe, you know, my, my, my ponytail, like you can start to see like my temples showing, those types of things. So we'll kind of touch base with that on the consult. Um, so like we've mentioned, we do have non-surgical and surgical treatments here. Um, one thing that we really love here are hair care products. So we have a pack of three. It's a shampoo, a conditioner, and a serum all in one. Um, the shampoo is really great at cleansing the scalp. All of these hair care products are really aimed at helping keep everything very clean, a great environment to facilitate healthy growth for hair. Um, and to kind of minimize DHT. So kind of the a generalized knowledge for DHT. We all have testosterone in our body, men and women. It gets broken down into an androgen or a hormone. So this hormone connects to the base of that hair follicle. So if you remember that first slide that we showed, that dermal papillar, the base of that hair follicle, and basically for lack of better terms, gives this follicle a big hug. So in turn, because it's giving it this big, huge hug, it's cutting off this blood supply. So we get less blood flow, less nutrients to the hair, it kind of shrinks that hair follicle. The shampoo and conditioner do a really great job in making sure that that DHT doesn't bind. And then the serum kind of helps reduce the production of the DHT and return <coughs> to it as well. Um, you can buy them individually or separate. The serum also, it's a red clover extract, so it's gonna mimic minoxidil, the way that the mechanism of action. So basically, minoxidil is Rogaine, um, and how that works is it vasodilates that blood cell, so, or that hair follicle. So it's gonna increase that size, so more blood flow can go to it to get more nutrients there. Um, so it's really, really good for um, helping keep that hair healthy. Here is a great kind of overview of each product individually. And like Laura had mentioned earlier, you can get a um, recording of this. So you can go back and kind of pause and zoom in and really kind of further explore this uh, on your own. Another great product that we have is this Caps Max Serum. So it's 7% minoxidil or Rogaine. In the store, you can get a 3% or 5% over the counter. So this is a prescription strength, which one of us can prescribe to you. And it also has finasteride or Propecia in it as well. Um, finasteride is typically an oral medication that is a prescription, um, but we have this great combination. It's working really, really well. Um, and like I said, that uh, Rogaine or the minoxidil is going to vasodilate that blood vessel mm -hmm. so we can get more nutrients to that hair follicle. And then the finasteride, um, it's, it's a really great thing. So sometimes they can have um, different side effects if you take it orally, but we found through clinical studies, um, you know, published online and everything that the the topical serum has a lot less side effects. So there was actually a study published. Um, it was 3,177 male participants, and they all um, got overall 87% positive improvement with their hair. So we really do love this product. Nutrafol is also a fantastic product. It is a nutraceutical, meaning there's no pharmacological agents in this. So um, all really, really, really great supplements. I want to hit mainly on this photo. You can see that this is a picture of a hair follicle and it shows every part of that hair access. So we're looking at the extrinsic factors. So we're thinking like, you know, UV, like maybe from sunlight, 
um, products, that type of thing, all the way down to that base of that dermal papilla. Um, so that is kind of where that DHT would bind. So there is a product called sal palmetto in this. Um, it's going to help that um, DHT hormone. The, another one that I really love is ashwagandha. So it's going to target our stress hormones. So when we're stressed, our cortisol levels rise. We can only get to a certain threshold before our body starts to freak out. Everyone has a certain threshold. So once we pass that certain threshold, our body, it just because of stress, is like, oh my gosh, I don't know what to do. So it just sheds our hair. Um, that's a normal body reaction. So this ashwagandha is going to help so we don't pass that certain threshold. It has collagen in it, biocurcumin. It has um, things to help with oxidative stress. It's a really great supplement. It's four pills a day. They're smaller than a fish oil, no odor, no taste. The clinical studies are truly impeccable. It's a continued use for a minimum six months. Um, one thing we really like to stress with hair is that hair care or that care cycle is, it takes a long time. So, you know, everything we want to give minimum six months before we see results. Um, and that's kind of like a key for every uh, treatment that we have here. So it is a journey, but we're here for you the whole way. Um, one great therapy that we have here is low level light therapy. So we have a Synetics laser. It is a true red light laser. Um, how this works is it's going to increase microcirculation, so blood flow to the scalp. Um, it is going to help that DHT that chokes that hair follicle. It's basically going to get rid of it so we can get that more nutrients and everything to the blood or to the hair follicle. It stimulates that mitochondria. So the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. So it increases ATP production, which basically means energy. When that cell or that follicle has more energy, we're able to grow healthier hair um, and just facilitate a good growth environment. Um, the great thing about the Synetics is it is very comfortable. You come in, they're 30 minute treatments. You can bring an iPad, a book. We have an Alexa. You can have her play whatever music you want. Um, we have a lot of people do conference calls. Truly, it makes it very easy. You can connect to our Wi Fi. There's no pain. There's truly no side effects. It's very, very safe. No downtime. You come in, 30 minutes, you leave. Um, it is a series of 48 treatments. Um, so it's about a six month program. Uh, first, you're going to notice your thinning and your loss, your shedding of your hair is going to start to decrease. Then you're going to notice your quality of hair gets better. So maybe your hair looks shinier, maybe it feels better, it starts to get thicker and stronger. And then we're going to notice that your hair really starts to grow. Um, we have great results with this. Um, Synetics says it's a 90% satisfaction rate. Um, we really had, we really love this product. Here is a great photo. Um, this patient had a clotting disorder, so she was unable to do the other therapy that we have. Um, so you can see on the left to the right her progress. She got great, great progress. I do want to stress that she had a ton of empty hair canals, and I will touch base with you on you know, discuss that a little bit further, but she's very happy with her progress. We're very happy. Um, we have a lot of good success with this therapy. The next treatment that we have is PRP. So PRP stands for platelet-rich plasma. Um, you would come in, it's about an hour visit, do a simple blood draw, um, quick and easy. We spin it in a centrifuge. It's gonna separate your red blood cells from your plasma. Your yeah. plasma is where all your growth factors, your stem cells, your proteins, everything that kind of heals and restores your body is. So I tell patients, when you fall and you skin your knee, that yellow goop that goes to your knee, that's your plasma. So it's like your first responder in healing. So we're basically causing an inflammatory response by putting this back into your scalp. Um, and so then the body is like, oh, let's, let's fix this, right? So basically you're gonna increase that blood flow, that oxygen, that nutrients to, that, um, to those follicles. Um, here are some photos of a before and after. So you can see baseline photos, and then after that third PRP, in the middle, you can see a scope photo. So at the console, we always take a full scope photos for every patient. We take iPad photos for every patient. We'll get a full in-depth history. Um, 
The scope photos are great. Um, it's a, it looks like a magnifying glass. I actually have it. I'll show it to you. Um, yeah. uh, it's basically 50 times magnetized from the naked eye. So we cleanse this off, we put it on, it's gonna show your hair follicles. It really shows the health of the hair follicle um, down to that root. So truly it doesn't matter how much product you have on, if you just got your hair colored, if you styled it, it you know, it's really, really great in-depth look at your hair follicles. So you can really kind of see where we stand. Um, here is a really neat photo or um, video of scalp injections. So the visit is an hour, but the actual injections only take a few minutes. Um, we keep you very comfortable. We do have treatment options. We have Pronox, it's half laughing gas, half nitrous oxide, 50-50 mix. Um, we have nerve distractor. We've had several patients, 17 years old, all the way to 80 years old. We've really never had anyone that couldn't tolerate the treatments. So we do a really good job of trying to keep you comfortable and the, the results are gonna want, you're gonna wanna come back. So um, the PRP and the Synetics are fantastic standalone treatments, but you can also put them together. Um, this patient decided to do them together. Uh, she was 41 years old, noticed generalized thinning throughout. Um, she's doing the Nutrafol, our cap, CAPS um, brand serum, and then the PRP treatments. And you can really see her hair is really starting to come in. This patient also wanted to do everything together. So she did the PRP and the Synetic. She finished that six month Synex program. She did three PRPs and then a maintenance. The PRP, I do wanna stress, we do a series of three. It's one every four to six weeks. And then we go to maintenance, typically quarterly. Um, you know, our goal isn't always for you to come quarterly. Sometimes we want you to come once or twice a year. But again, that is something that we would decide in your um, consult and depending on how quickly you start, start to show progress. Um, so we want to make that individualized for you. But this patient, she did her first maintenance one and she's also doing our hair care products and we follow along with her. Uh, she's doing really, really great. This patient is very young. Um, I do want to say uh, scalp injections, Synetics, Nutrafol, all of this isn't only for a certain age group. It is truly for anyone. So I like to tell patients being pr proactive is always better than reactive. Um, you know, if you notice that thinning, come in right away so we can get those scope photos. We can make sure we make a plan for you before you've lost a lot of those hair follicles and we can't get those back. So this patient was very young. She actually lived out of state. She came here, she lived in Chicago. Uh, she's using Nutrafol. She does a light cap at home. She's done a series of PRPs. She continues to do maintenance and she's using our hair care products. So you can see on the left, you can really, really see her scalp. Uh, the middle is after her third PRP injection. And then that one all the way on the right is after her first maintenance. Um, this is a male patient. He was young, 23 years old, started to notice gradual thinning and hair loss. He's on the Nutrafol. He's on our Caps Max Serum. He's done the initial series of the PRP, Synetics, and our hair care products. His hair looks amazing. So we're very, very excited about what we have to offer here. Um, just kind of an overview of our packages. Uh, so the liquid gold package, this is you know, the PRP, it is truly liquid gold. So it's that first initial series of to flood that area, the three, the three PRP treatments, four to six weeks apart. And then it comes with our hair care products. Um, the second one is our radiant hair. So that is the Synetics laser, the low level light therapy, comes with our hair care products and the 48 treatments. If you wanna throw everything at the book, get the best of the best, you know, the Nourish and Restore is the one for you. Um, you're gonna get our hair care products, the Synetics and the PRP. I love to stress, I would put Nutrafol pretty much on every package. You know, we have uh, the Women's Balance, uh, that is for 45 and up, postmenopausal. It also has a little bit of extra ingredients and it has like a maca root. So it helps with like little baby hairs that we get as we grow older. Um, and then we have a women's, we have a men's, we have a postpartum. So, you know, come find us if you have questions, we'd be more than happy to help you pick the right package and the right options for you. And then this is, um, I'm going to pass this over to yeah, Jen. Great. She's going to talk about like surgery. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Well, that, you know, I love hearing that again. Um, I think, 
first and foremost, and Stephanie, you, you hit the nail on the head, right? It's all individualized. So once you come in for your complimentary consultation, when the girls scan and do scope photos and iPad photos, we really get in-depth look at your health history and the scope photos really help tell a story and it'll really help you understand what follicle health you're in and that's then we can help populate a plan for you that's individualized i think that's always super important to understand so i, I think that's even great for me here again okay so let's transition into neograph so when we talk about hair restoration surgery um, neograft is a synonymous term to hair transplantation It's just the name of the machine that allows us to harvest the follicles on the back of the head. We actually um, do this in males only here at CAP. Sometimes people do wonder if females can have hair transplants. We actually currently do not do female transplantation here, um, mostly because the outcomes for females have a way different expectation than males. So if your loss is significant or an advanced stage, please rest assured, Stephanie or Olivia will go over that in depth in your consultation. Um, for males, um, we've been doing hair transplants for nearly eight, nine years now uh, using the neograph technique. So what that is, is a follicular unit extraction method that allows us to take individual follicles from the back of the head. In case you didn't know, men genetically will not lose the hair from the base of the crown to the nape of their neck and ear to ear. So they will only lose hair at the crown and the mid scalp here on the top and in the frontal hairline. So that's why we actually harvest the follicles from the back of the head. It's a full day procedure um, in which you come at 7 a.m. and generally you're here till three, four o'clock in the day. And we do go over all those fine details if and when we schedule your surgery. So I think the, um, the easiest way to describe it when we're doing an online presentation is just sort of walk you through photos, what you're seeing, because it helps articulate the uh, recovery process and sort of when you're going to see um, the outcomes. So for this client, 35 years old, and the take home from this photo is about a week later, that is the hairline that we created and it all confirmed the morning of surgery. So we, we confirm it with the client and the team that's doing the surgery that morning. And his hairline here um, is really apparent. And then obviously that six months later, we start to see the hair come in. During that first week to two weeks, you do have like a scabbing kind of process. So think about it when you skin your knee as a child. Um, so when we're putting in the follicles, um, they do scab over and those are present for 10 to 14 days. So you definitely can tell that you've had something done perhaps for that first two weeks, but you have strategies of, you know, some, some clients are working at home now. Maybe you can turn the, the camera off in your Zoom meetings. Um, you know, we can wear ball caps. We can give you a surgical cap. So we have a lot of options to help you get through like, okay, what do I do with work? Um, this is a great example of someone who just had generalized thinning. He hadn't lost his entire hairline yet. So this 22-year-old um, came in. Um, during COVID, so he was still in a mask there. Um, but it's a wonderful example. That middle photo is trying to show you those scabs. And what that the take home for that is, is we reinforced his frontal hairline, and then we peppered and reinforced all the areas of thinning on the top of the scalp and into the vertex or the crown region. Um, his follow-up photo there at five months, he was already seeing a really nice outcome. And in general, you'll still see the outcomes improve over six to 12 months. So a lot of clients want to know, like when you put those neographs or the hair grafts in, are those the hairs that grow? And they're actually not. What happens is we put the follicles in the predetermined hairline. Those eventually fall out. The root takes place. And then you get your results slow and gradually over six to 12 months. Um, many of you are wondering, OK, is it one neograft? Is it two neografts? And I always say we will discuss that with you in your um, consultation based on the stage of your loss and your expectations. So this client wanted to bring his frontal hairline down. Um, I would say significantly in the pattern of his loss, he started to lose that frontal hairline and temples sort of as a contiguous plane. So what we did is rebuilt the frontal hairline so that middle photo sort of 
gives you a great illustration of what the hair comes in and looks like and what kind of um, density and uniformity it looks like at a year. So then we ended up going back in for a second procedure in creating the thickness that he desired. Now, some clients could say at that one year and that one surgery, you could be completely happy. I'm happy when you're happy. Um, I think our job when you come here is to let you know and articulate for you what things look like you know, so that we always match your expectations. So we like to share a lot of before and afters so that the illustrations give you, you know, sort of what, what you're anticipating over time. We're always seeing you in follow-up over time and reconfirming and re-educating you on what you will see when. Um, this client, this is super fun. Um, he always would shave his head because he didn't like the patchiness, the thinness, some of that in the, um, the lack of uniformity, I always like to say, just the inconsistencies. Um, and that was one of his follow-ups at 10 months. So he wears his hair completely different. Um, he did decide to go back into have a second neograph um, several months later. Um, and then when I did his final follow-up, this is really exciting. I always love, love seeing this. So, um, you know, looked great at his first one. He just desired more. Um, and that's our outcome six months after the second one. Um, you may be asking, well, how long do I have to wait between surgery one and surgery two if I desire a second surgery? And at minimum, we always wait about a year. Your first surgery is still going to be, um, you know, growing in and getting thicker and better over that six to 12 months. So we usually don't pass our judgment on it, you know, for a good year. Um, this client's another example of someone who did a two surgery plan. Um, in essence, when you look at his before photo, he truly did have very little to zero hair on the top. The hair that he had there in that before photo was really just he had grown out the side and sort of combed it over. Um, so what we were able to do is recreate that whole frontal hairline in the mid scalp. And then what we did with the second surgery is just created more density and fullness. And he's just extremely happy with it. Um, you know, the two surgeries, you may also be wondering, are they the exact same surgery? And they are. You still harvest from the same donor site. And that is totally safe to do so. We're always, as part of your consult, much like Stephanie was talking about when her and Olivia do uh, your consultations for females, we're always looking at the hair follicle help with, um, help with the scope prior to any surgery being booked regardless. So we always will go over your donor site as well in consultation. This client, I love this chin to chest view because he had disseminated thinning um, in his 20s. And so his surgery, uh, he's 29 years old at the time. Um, and that is his year follow-up. So a really beautiful outcome, slow and gradual over that six to 12 months. That frontal hair view, now this is the same client, so you can see really where he's got that patchiness and some hair loss and thinning at the frontal hairline. And now with re-establishing um, that frontal hairline with forever hair, because truly when you put in the hair follicles that are genetically predisposed to last forever, those hair follicles in the back of your head go into the planned uh, frontal hairline or wherever we're doing your transplant, and they will last forever. The other thing that sort of marriages those non-surgical options with the surgical is you have to remember what we can't control then is what your native hair, your natural hair is going to do. So oftentimes, yes, we're putting in the neografted or think of them as the forever hairs, but we still need to support the hair that you naturally have. So for men, oftentimes that's either medications or things like Stephanie discussed, like there's Nutrafol for men, there's a medicated, the, the topical serum she mentioned, and then of course, platelet rich plasma, which is the heart and soul of many of our hair treatments. Um, another example, I feel like the illustrations are always the most beneficial. So you can see how this client's um, results were starting to prosper at six months, okay? This client, a 54-year-old 55, uh, male, so he had frontal hairline and it had hair from front to back. However, what he was experiencing was just generalized thinning throughout. So it really was appearing sort of like what I hear from the men a lot um, is they, they feel like it's see-through or when it's wet, they can really see their scalp or they don't like when they style it, it looks like you can almost see through the front to the back. Um, so at nine months later, 
you know, we had a really nice, what I like to describe as an undergrowth. It is a very natural process when the hair grows in from the transplant. So I feel like the benefit of that, although no one wants to wait, I totally get it. The benefit of that is you don't come looking like you all of a sudden have hair that you did not have before. So in that respect, the, the hair cycle taking a while to sort of come to fruition makes it come in very, very natural. So all these photos and more you will learn about in your consultation. And in general, what we really try to do is once we meet you and see where your hair struggles and your hair journey is at, we will show you more targeted photos before, before and after photos that really will hit home for you so that you know what your individual expectations may be. So uh, with that being said, thank you so much for um, tuning in. I'm going to have Laura, go over the event raffle, what the specials are today, um, and do all the final final Perfect. details. And then we'll get to okay. some Q and A. We had some great questions. Okay. Tonight. So, okay. Yeah. Um, first, I want to talk about the raffle. Everybody is automatically entered into the raffle. You do not have to do anything when you register. You are automatically entered in. So we do have. It's a great neutral package. It's a three month supply of neutral, and I have one for women and one for men. So depending on who wins, you'll get the appropriate one. Um, so whoever wins that, I'll notify you, notify you by email tomorrow. So it is a great one. Enough. Um, then, the, also the package for tonight. So we have a really good package. Um, first, I want to start with the free consultation. We want to make sure that everybody has a chance to come in Upper Arlington or Easton office and talk to one of our hair restoration providers and get all of the information. What's the best package for you? What would be the most appropriate treatment? Um, and go from there. You need as much information as you can possibly get. So everyone can schedule that. Um, again, because we you registered, it's a free consultation. Usually it's about 30, 40 minutes. Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I know I hate to say a little, mine are a little longer. <laughs> well, just because, you know, when we're talking sometimes with the guys for surgery, you know, there's just a lot of details that we go into. But in general, I would say really for most of us, it's almost like an hour. Okay. Because we really want to get your scope photos. I mean, we can right. like generally if you if you're in a hurry. But we always say give us an hour. We we'd love to spend the time with you and do a deep dive into what's the right thing. Those scope photos are amazing. The scope photos, photos are amazing. Yeah. And they're helpful for us. Too. Yeah. Um, okay, so absolutely. We'll start with your free consult, but then also you will have a 10% because you registered, 10% discount on any of those packages. Or if you decide Neograph mm -hmm. is the surgical option you want, $500 off the Neograph. So um, all of that, again, once you're registered, you don't have to do anything else. Once you call in for the consult, we already know that you're registered for the event, so you will automatically get that. So Awesome. Um, I want to let me just stop this here and stuff if you can come in because I want to get you in. We did have some great questions coming in. There was, I just want to say there was a couple questions that came in about specific medications, um, specific diagnoses that people had questions on hair loss. And those I want to have one of the providers contact you directly, um, just because we don't kind of want to get in the weeds with specific medications right now. But they were great questions. So, sure. um, but a bunch more that were coming in. Um, I wanted to start with a PRP question. So Stephanie, how do I know if and when I need PRP? Okay, um, that's a good question. Mm -hmm. Truly anyone could benefit from PRP. Um, again, we'll come in for your consult, look where your thinning are is. Um, like I said, proactive is great. So if you're noticing like, hey, I'm really young, but I, I notice a lot of thinning, this is a great option for you. Again, if you're older, if you're, you know, mid, mid middle age I, <laughs> she doesn't want to say the age um, yeah. i mean right. truly truly any age can benefit from this um even if you feel like hey i don't have a lot of thinning but i kind of just want to make my hair more rich and mm -hmm. healthy you can definitely come in too truly prp is wonderful any anyone can do it so um just come in and we'll take photos and kind of make a good plan for you you know the other thing too is like prp has no risk right so the only thing is it's a simple blood draw we're so used to drawing blood all the time it's not you know it's part of our routine so mm -hmm. i'd like you to know we you know make it super comfortable and easy process um there's no additive to it there's no risk i mean maybe a minor bruising right and so the big thing is it's your body's own natural wonderful product so it's all it's all a benefit right yeah, no negative so absolutely. that's what i love about um, and stephanie i love when you were talking about the different ages because it is i mean in your 20s you certainly don't want to be feeling like your hair is thinning and right. to be able to have an option to do something to kind of get ahead of it 
and be proactive about mm -hmm. it. Um, all the way to those of us in our 50s yeah. who, yeah. <laughs> who yeah. also feel like there's got to be something yeah. to do. Um, I love all the options. That was great in the presentation with that. Um, a neograft one that Jen, Jen that came in. Um, how long does it take to schedule neograft? I think what he was asking was how quickly can he schedule? Yeah, in, um, in essence, um, once we do the consultation, screen your health history, make sure it's the right option for you. Um, essentially, I would say, you know, two to four weeks is you know, doable mm -hmm. generally. And I say most gentlemen know to schedule this kind of surgery. It's usually, you know, a month out, right? Not because of me, but generally just for them to wrap their head around work, mm -hmm. you know, and life and having that restriction. But honestly, just several months ago, I had a patient come in who was like, you know what? I realized I have, and I mean, we make, <laughs> we generally make anything happen. As long <laughs> as the surgery team, myself and you can coordinate those days. I mean, honestly, I'm happy to do whatever the client needs. Perfect. Perfect. Absolutely. Um, I think that they were thinking possibly trying to get it before the holidays, which would be tight, but again, yeah. well, and that, well, I know we're know, back here. Yeah. yeah, and in that respect, I think the consultation is key, right? Getting right. in and looking at the logistics, you know, first of all, making sure clinically it's the right thing for you and make sure we can meet your expectations with your surgical goals. And then, you know, once we discuss that, I mean, then we go right into scheduling. So right. once I know that, you know, it's all lining up, scheduling is part of our everyday life here. So we're happy to accommodate any of your needs. Perfect. Um, Stephanie, another one that came in regarding PRP. Do I need to get the whole series every year or do I need to get the series every year or just the maintenance? That's a good question. Um, yeah, so initially we typically start with a series of three mm -hmm. and then we go to maintenance quarterly. Um, like I said, our goal isn't always for you to come in quarterly, but um, sometimes maybe just once or twice a year, if you notice like, hey, I've done a series, I'm doing really good. Mm -hmm. I stand on my Nutrafol, I'm on my serum, I'm on my you know, shampoo and conditioner, those types of things. Um, we can kind of push you out for the PRP. Um, but then if you notice like, hey, I, you know, I had a shift in hormones or mm -hmm. I'm really stressed out, those types of things, I'd love to get you back in and kind of do another um, maintenance PRP to kind of help facilitate that healthy environment for the hair. Perfect. So once you're, once you're a patient and once you're coming in regular, you kind of tweak it for every person. Yeah, absolutely. And some years you might be more, some years right. might be less. Again, yeah, it's it's exactly hormone stress. Absolutely. 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 Yes. But that initial three is really important because as you mm -hmm. mentioned, that initial three, that wasn't us just making it up. That's all based on like dermatological, mm -hmm. like, you know, clinical studies on that. We're going back to that initial slide stuff was going over though, that antigen phase, the active hair follicle phase. The clinical studies are that you get your best outcomes when you first flood those areas right. with the PRP for a series of three and then quarterly. I mean, then we always reevaluate about right. six months. Right, right. Because then maybe we can back up. Definitely. Always yeah. go off clinical studies and data yeah. that shows where, you know, where we get our best results. So we kind of go off of that. Perfect. Um, Jen, this was a good question. It's somebody else, but again, with the holidays coming, how long do I need to take off work for Neograft? So part of our consultation is a discussion of, okay, what do you do for work? So mm -hmm. we're, we're used to all different time, types of work life. So if you're doing something physical, um, we have one discussion, right? If you wear a hard hat, we've had a fireman, you know, mm -hmm. so we have to have those discussions, right? Um, and those would be physical stressors on your Neograft. Uh, which we have to avoid for two to four weeks, right? If you're someone who's a professional, but you're behind a computer and you don't have to be face-to-face -face with clients, honestly, you can work the very next day mm -hmm. to two days. You're just not going to look great on camera at two to three days. So what I do during the consultation too, once you tell me what you do for a living, um, I will show you each um, kind of example, what you're going to look like for that first two weeks. But in general, think about two weeks where you're not like, you're not going to a big event, mm -hmm. but you have those physical scabs still on the grass. But you can be working. You're not on like pain medications, things like that. Right. Um, Perfect. Yeah. Um, one last one on the PRP, and I love this. Um, when would I get those scope photos if I did PRP? Yeah. <laughs> I love those scope yeah, photos. Like That's would. a good question. Yeah, absolutely. So we always do the scope photos initially before we start treatments. We want a good baseline photos. 
Um, and then we typically we do a series of the three. We take three to four months off. About that time, they're at that six month mark. So like I mentioned earlier, that hair growth cycle is a long time. So we give it minimum six months before we see results. Um, and then at that time, we'd love to take another updated version of the scope no. photos, kind of mm -hmm. track your progress. And then we're more than happy to do that as we go because we really want to see our progress yeah. and you know what we can do to better your results. Yeah. I love having that. It's so interesting when you yeah. see that detail of the scalp it's and really, the hair follicles. It's amazing. I love it. um, one last question, and then I want to be cognizant of everyone's time. I know there was a couple more, and again, we will, if we didn't get to you, we'll either have somebody email you or call you with the answer. Sure. Um, raffle, I will announce the winner tomorrow. I'll actually, I'll email you directly. Um, but Jen, one last question, and I know you've mentioned this, but this is always a good one. How long until I will notice all the new hair with Neograph? <laughs> okay. The number one question everyone wants to know is when my yep. hair is going to come in. So I would say, so when you leave here in two weeks, we have little stubble that actually does fall out. Mm -hmm. So then what happens is we're in the waiting phase. No one loves it, but we will remind you on all your follow-ups so that you're always feeling confident about the what and the when. Generally, we start to see what I like to say, say festers, and it just is like this little undergrowth, and we can start to see that hopefully around month four or five, and I say, don't panic, mm -hmm. it's still coming, it's just hard to wait. <laughs> By month six, you're seeing me, and in general, you're seeing Olivia or Stephanie in the meantime, because they're doing usually quarterly PRPs that first year. Now, we have many clients that fly in, so sometimes mm -hmm. they're doing that locally close to home, but if you live in the Columbus you know, area or sometimes you know, a couple hours away, mm -hmm. people do come in once a quarter for PRPs post-op. So then we're seeing you at three months, six months. By six months, there's usually something tangible for us to see visibly on an iPad photo, and then by 12 months, it's best. Perfect. So I'm always saying six to 12 months, and it, it just keeps getting better each month. It is amazing. It's hard to wait though. I get yeah, that. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. amazing. Yeah. If I could rush it. I would. <laughs> For sure. Well, thank you so much. Um, please don't hesitate to email me again if you think of any other questions. I'm going to be sending out the link to this recording tonight. So everyone will get an email. If you want to rewatch it, you just click on the email and it'll take you right to the recording. Just hit um, play and you can watch everything again. Um, don't forget about that great event special. You have the 10% off the packages or the $500 off the Miograph. Thank Absolutely. you so much, everyone. Thank you so Thank much. You. Have a great night.